Harry's wife, 92.50. Smells like... Merch. Yes, there you have the sound of the money. Valentine's Day is coming, and it's as good a time as any for a bit of merching to go on. If various reports are to be believed, the Sussexes are short of dough at the moment. All of this PR is proving rather expensive, as is the need for security. And the need to assert control by getting those PR puff pieces out is taking its toll. And therefore, the tills need to ring, the deals need to be done, the money needs to come in. And what better way than an opportunist merching? And we go to something called SheKnows.com that tells us one of Harry's wife's favourite candle brands, Diptyque, released dreamy Valentine's Day sets at Nordstrom. Taylor Jeffries is going to take us through this undoubtedly Mind-numbing article linked once again to Harry's wife for the purpose of merch and to make her look stylish. It explains to us, with Valentine's Day approaching, intoxicating scents are the perfect way to capture your partner's attention and set a romantic mood. Lucky for you, Diptyque launched a limited edition collection of alluring rose fragrances to bask in this Valentine's Day. The luxurious brand is most locally owned by every stylish person you know. Well, actually, I know a lot of stylish people, and I can safely say I have not witnessed any of the Diptyque products near them. Not only does it exude elegant scents, but Diptyque's products also function well as home decor. And it's no surprise that this candle is a quintessential piece at Harry's wife's home. Of course it is. She's a style icon par excellence. If anybody knows how to merch it hard whilst being a style icon, it's her. After all, who can forget such memorable moments as Chairman Mao goes to New York or The Fridge by Valentino on the stage or Kermit the Frog goes to church. Or, a sack of shit walks along the street. Or, turd brown shades I have worn, part 732. Of course, don't forget the burst ripe tomato of the Freedom Gala. Yes, style icon indeed. And, of course, when it comes to fashion and looking like a Teletubby, this also shows with her excellent taste and the attempt to link her between her and style, and thus leading to the merch. Apparently, the Duchess swears by Dipti candles. What does she do? Create a room full of 500 of these candles while she engages in some unorthodox and quite simply satanic ritual whereby she maintains her unearthly powers over old ginger bollocks. Perhaps it could be. And the article tells us we're sure you'll be stocked up on them soon too after this upcoming holiday. I wouldn't hold your breath. Whether it's a gift for yourself or someone you hate, I beg your pardon, or someone special, make Diptyque's latest Valentine's collection your new go-to scent. Diptyque's limited edition collection was made in collaboration with LA-based florist Morris Harris to create unexpected yet unique forms of floral scents. From lychee notes infused into it, the charming collection includes an eau de parfum, eau de toilette and scented candles. Although the collection is on the pricier end, naturally it has to be because Harry's wife needs her cut. It's surely worth it after one try. Unlike other fragrances, you may even come out smelling like roses for more than a few hours. For fragrances, the Eau Rose Eau de Parfum is the most expensive option at $190. As it holds a greater concentration than the Eau de Toilette, 
So, for the price of a candle that will burn for a number of hours, or you could spend less than that talking to me for an hour and unravelling the hell that has been your ensnarement by the narcissist. And in those circumstances, I think you know where you'd be much happier placing your money. According to the article, the scented candles are all priced the same at $76. If looking for a new candle or fragrance to try out, indulge yourself in some of Diptyque's beautiful aromas. Check out our favourites from their Valentine's Day-themed limited edition available at Nordstrom now. Once again, we have a shameless merching opportunity, which links Harry's wife's name, and it serves a dual purpose. Of course, there is a merching with the residual benefit that occurs of money, but also the presentation of the facade that she is a woman of style and excellent taste. And of course, a lot of the evidence flies completely in the face of that. But hey, let's have a look at the candles. Well, here's the roses scented candle that will be coming up on your screen. And you can see that the design really looks like something that a child, probably aged 11 or 12, could accomplish. And it doesn't look like a particularly large candle, does it? So it's not going to last for a long time. But hey, you can buy it right now and spend $76 on it. And apparently... This rose-scented candle serves to celebrate the delicateness and freshness of a rose. It's a classic scent for those who appreciate floral notes. And then we have the chamomile-scented candle, which you can now see. And, again, the label, well, I would say maybe an eight- or nine-year-old could have designed that just as effectively. And we're told that this one also is $76. This limited edition candle smells just as pretty as it looks. Well, judging by that label, I'd say it probably smells fairly bland. It features the sweet, fresh and soft aromas of chamomile. Skip the cup of chamomile tea for this diptyque candle that's just as calming. If you actually need something that's going to calm you, you could do no better than to listen to the glorious, velvety, calm tones of your glorious narrator. And you could take a little stroll along to the Knowledge Vault, link in the video description, and there seek out these items. Distraction, sleep, and Distraction Autumn. They won't cost anywhere near $76, you can use them again and again and again, unlike a scented candle, which once it's been burnt, has evaporated away. And you'll have a much more relaxed and pleasurable experience as I distract you from the effects of the narcissist using a backdrop of soothing sounds combined with my readings. Go and give it a try. And if you want to listen to more of me, there's a whole depository of information about narcissism that you'll find there, including Narc Tales, Volumes 1 and 2, which you can listen to as a treat to yourself at night time as you curl up inside your bed and be both soothed and amused by what I have created in those tales. Anyway, once again, we see that Harry's wife is involved in the merchandising and the facade management, and the narcissism continues as Valentine's Day appears on the horizon. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening. <laughs>